The energy use will double in the next 30 years, from 15 to 30 terawatts. I was born in 1944 in uh, Dorf Chemnitz in East Germany, near Dresden. Grew up there until uh, my family uh, um, escaped from the communist uh, country at that time, and uh, so we became refugees. And that's when I did my high school and uh, went to Berlin. I got my university education at Berlin. I was always fascinated by uh, the photosynthetic process and the inverse reaction, which is the respiration. The two reactions are the most important life-sustaining processes we, call, we, we, we know now. So, even before I studied, I was intrigued what the Mother Nature had done to fix carbon dioxide. And all our fossil fuels come from that photosynthetic reaction. The question which I was asking myself was, can we imitate some of the fundamental pathways of this reaction? The photoreaction and photosynthesis were known. And even people didn't know that chlorophyll is a dimer in the plant. So, uh, so that was an extremely interesting time. And, and then I thought, well, maybe we could use a sensitized process using a molecule to absorb light like the green leaf does and generate electric charges and try to collect those charges as current. I think renewable energy has to be developed much more rapidly than it's done now. We, we're facing a scenario where the energy use will double in the next 30 years, from 15 to 30 terawatts. And that, that's the power consumption of the whole Earth. And so how do we cover that? As a researcher, I feel very fortunate. The whole group is very fortunate to have received this award. And it will certainly have an impact uh, usually these kind of high-level international prizes give a larger visibility of the scientists and uh, they also help to foster practical developments. And I hope that the King Faisal International Prize will foster practical development of our technology in Saudi Arabia, where plenty of sunshine is abound. <laughs>